There's good news and there's bad news. So Microsoft just dropped this. The article is titled VASA 1, Lifelike Audio-Driven Talking Faces Generated in Real Time. So this is basically an AI which takes a single image plus any audio clip and then it animates the face. So before I go into the details, let me show you a few examples. We introduce VASA, a framework for generating lifelike talking faces with appealing visual effective skills given a single static image and a speech audio clip. Our model is capable of not only producing lip movements that are exquisitely synchronized with the audio, but also capturing a large spectrum of facial nuances and natural head motions that contribute to the perception of authenticity and liveliness. The core innovations include a holistic facial dynamics and head movement generation model that works in a face latent space and the development of such an expressive and disentangled face latent space using videos. These principles will not only make your user's journey more pleasant, they'll contribute to better business metrics as well. Users hate being interrupted and they hate getting broken experiences. Keeping these principles in mind in your app design makes for a better user journey. My girl asked me, she was like, babe, what's your love language? <laughs> I'm like, what? She's like, you know, your love language, like how do you convey love to your partners and loved ones? Like for example, a love language could be words of affirmation. Have you ever had, maybe you're in that place right now where you want to turn your life around and you know somewhere deep in your soul there could be some decisions that you have to make. Like, you know, like it's like things, something was decided for you. And instead of trying to make something that is done work, it's like the invitation is to make the decision, commit to that and to start creating what comes next. But here's the thing. When we say no to something, we're saying yes to something else. But that involves a lot of unknown. The micellas the milks, the cleansing balms, the oils, they are really great for a drier skin, a mature skin, that first step cleanse, uh, that removing makeup. So for me, they kind of sit into that bracket. Surprises me still. I ran it on someone just last night. Uh, it was fascinating. You know, she had complained of, she had complained of shoulder like pain in her arm. It was excruciating. So I said, okay, let's run this. The first thing we need to look at is the letter H, so the sound at the beginning. It depends what country you're from, but many native languages have a problem with um, putting too much tightness in the throat and it can become more of a H sound. So it's very important not to over-exaggerate this sound. It's a very soft, very relaxed sound in English. So just softly release the sound help. Okay, so that's the first thing. Um, but you can imagine I have a lot of questions. So um, I'd love to begin with you firstly, just because I, I read that you started out in advertising and now you run a wellness business. And so as you can see, their method is capable of not only producing lip audio synchronization, but also capturing a large spectrum of emotions and expressive facial nuances and natural head motions that contribute to the perception of realism and liveliness. So, you know, sometimes nothing happens and sometimes everything happens all at once and you just gotta deal with it. And it's also just strange to both be extremely worried about different things and have your anxiety levels like peak to the highest they've ever been. And then also be extremely happy and grateful that you were able to buy an apartment. You know, it's all these conflicting emotions. They had their way with me. <laughs> Let's just say I had so many opportunities to practice what I preach. So I tried my best to take good care of myself. I tried my best to stay mindful, to meditate, um, just really listening and responding to what I needed. And I do believe that having a practice like that really does help. And then fun little addition to that as well is that we had four days together, my boyfriend and I, in Madrid. Um, we booked it like, um, I don't know when we did that, like maybe December? Or the movements are very fluid and they look very realistic. Just by analyzing the voice clip, the AI is somehow able to kind of assume the emotion and portray that emotion on the face. And I mean, the progress of these talking faces, these avatars are getting so realistic. I remember just, you know, one year ago, those avatars looked really robotic. Mm -hmm. 
Today, we'll talk about the pharmaceutical industry to give you a small overview. So, what is the pharmaceutical industry? More after the break. And they were just really rigid and people were saying, it's so easy to tell that this is AI, this is not real. But right now with this new technology, I must say, it's really, really hard to tell the difference. And by the way, Microsoft is not the only one who has released such an AI. So a month ago, I did this video, which showcased another AI. This one is created by some folks at Alibaba, and their model is called Emo, Emote Portrait Live. And it's essentially the same thing. They only take in one photo and they add in any audio and it can animate the face. So really quickly, let me just show you a few examples of Emo as well. When I was a kid, I feel like you heard the thing, you heard the term, don't cry. You don't need to cry. Crying is the most beautiful thing you can do. I encourage people to cry. I cry all the time. And I think it's the most healthy expression of how you're feeling. And I, I sometimes wish. You have done nothing but tell me how bored you were. I was the chore, the job you didn't want to do. To me, to me, you were everything. Now, back to Microsoft, they say that their method significantly outperforms previous methods along various dimensions comprehensively. And the most impressive thing about this model is that it not only delivers high video quality with realistic expressions, etc., etc., but also supports the online generation of 512 by 512 videos up to 40 frames per second with negligible starting latency. That means there's minimal delay or lag between when the AI starts processing the input to when it spits out the output. And this paves the way for real-time engagements with lifelike avatars. So way back in the days, I did a video on this real-time voice changer where you can change your voice into anyone you want. And so this paves the way for a lot of trolling, a lot of catfishing on Discord. You can jump on a phone call, for example, and use your actual voice, but through this AI, it would convert your voice into someone else's voice. And so you can see how easy it is to use these voice conversion tools for trolling or scamming people. Now, this is even crazier. So instead of just changing your voice, it can turn any face you want. And of course, you can generate any face you want using AI and then animate that face in real time. So basically, you can take any photo of anyone and make them say anything in real time with this technology. You can also customize the generation by tweaking various settings. So for example, you can change the eye gaze. So for the video at the very left, the eyes are centered. The next video, the eyes are gazing to the left. The next one, the eyes are gazing to the right. And the final one, the eyes are gazing up. I would say that we as readers are not meant to look at him in any other way but with disdain, especially in how he treats her, his daughter, okay? But of course, he is able to clearly see through Morris. And he so you can also change like the angle of the head or the distance of the head. So this one is farthest, this one is the closest. Basically, you can customize what is known as a head distance scale to generate this effect. Um, but you can imagine I have a lot of questions. So um, I'd love to begin with you, firstly, just because I, I read that you started out in advertising and now you run a wellness business. And of course, you can also customize different emotions. So the video on the very left is neutral. The next video is happy. The next video to the right is anger. And the last video on the right is surprise. You stand up all the time. I'm a stand up comedian, improviser by trade. You had me on a, one of the most fun experiences of my life as I was on the show in Chicago and I attempted to eat two Italian beef sandwiches in under a minute. And it doesn't have to be realistic faces. So here are a few examples of, you know, paintings which can also be animated. And it doesn't have to be like talking. You can also input audio, which is music or singing and also non-English speech. I'm a paparazzi, I don't play no Yahtzee, I go pop, 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 my camera's up, yo. You never tell me that you love me. Oh, what a mess of me you've made. Uh, 大哥今天请我来, 可能, 
不光是喝喝酒、吃吃饭，肯定有事儿。有什么话您就直说。那么华强能办呢，肯定给你办；不能办呢，大哥也能体谅我的苦衷。And what's really impressive about this is they say that these types of data were not present in the training set. So I assume this means that they only used English speech in the training set, and they only used realistic faces. But even if you give it something that is not part of its training data, it was able to also generate, you know, these animations almost perfectly. That's just really impressive. You can also apply the same motion sequence to another face, as you can see here. Will prevent those cavities from getting worse and prevent new cavities. Just because you treat cavities, it doesn't mean they can't get cavities in any other tooth or around those other cavities. Why did the cavities happen in the first place? Again, this tool just seems so versatile, so customizable. It's just mind blowing to me. So again, more impressive stuff. Here it says. Our method generates video frames of 512 by 512, so not the most HD quality, but this is just the start, and it's at 45 frames per second if you do it offline. However, it can also support up to 40 frames per second in the online streaming mode with a preceding latency of only 170 milliseconds. That's crazy. With such a short delay time, you can easily use this for real-time streaming. Right, you can do this online, and you can stream up to 40 frames per second, which is more than enough. And this is evaluated on a desktop PC with a single RTX 4090. Like this isn't some $30,000 H100 GPU. This is a normal consumer grade GPU, which anyone can get. Here's an example of a real-time demo where you can either upload audio or record audio or use text to speech. But you know what I decided to do? I decided to focus all my attention, all my time on listening. So instead of doing something else, I just listened, listened, and listened. Because I'm a true believer that if you're really bad at something, like listening, for example, it only shows you that hey, you have to practice listening as much as you can. We introduce Vasa. A framework for generating lifelike talking faces with appealing visual effective skills, given a single static image and a speech audio clip. Our model is capable of not only producing lip movements that are exquisitely synchronized with the audio, but also capturing a large spectrum of facial nuances and natural head motions that contribute to the perception of authenticity and liveliness. The core innovations include a holistic facial dynamics and head movement generation model. That works in a face latent space, and the development of such an expressive and disentangled face latent space using videos. All right. So in the beginning, I said there's good news and there's bad news. So here's the bad news. They're kind of pulling an open AI here, where they announce this really impressive, really cool product, but they don't bloody release it. So here's what they say. Our research focuses on generating visual effective skills for virtual AI avatars, aiming for positive applications. It's not intended to create content that is used to mislead or deceive. However, like related content generation techniques, it could still potentially be misused for impersonating humans. So, given such context, we have no plans to release an online demo, API, product. Additional implementation details, or basically any info, until we are certain that the technology will be used responsibly and in accordance with proper regulations. Now, how can you be certain that it will be used for good? It's kind of a gray area right now. But basically, they're showing you how awesome this tool is, but there's no way you can try it out, and they don't even give you additional information on how to implement this. And you know that's the same conclusion that we got with this Alibaba tool as well. They just showcased a few videos, but they haven't released anything for us to try out yet. But anyways, just know that this technology is out there. We can already animate a single photo with any audio and make anyone say anything, basically. And the expressions, the emotions, the lip sync is just so realistic now. It's almost impossible to tell this apart from a real video. And this brings a lot of implications for like deep fakes and scamming, and how to use evidence in court, for example. But that's beyond the scope of this tutorial. Anyways, 
definitely check out this article. I'll link it in the description below. Let me know what you think of all this technology. And do you think it's safe for them to release this or is it right for them to keep it, you know, closed for now? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, remember to like, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for more content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.